What's up YouTube? Welcome to Chan's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Yeah, Chu is here. Hello and welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. On this channel we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food as well as Malaysian and Chinese street food at home. Now, today, what have we got? I know what we're doing. Do you know what we're doing? Yes, I do. But what are we doing? You tell me know what we're doing. Okay. We're do <laughs> you, you forgot, haven't you? We're doing slow cooked spicy beef Sichuan soup noodles. Is that the right way around? Spicy slow cooked. Slow cooked beef. Spicy Sichuan slow cooked beef noodles? Soup. Soup noodles. Yes. Either way, that's what we're doing. Oh, yes. And it's amazing, so yes. this is a must try. Yeah, definitely a must try. And tell us how's yours come out? We'd like to hear it. Yeah, please do. Comment below as yes. well. Yes. Okay, so this is what you're going to need to make the spicy Sichuan broth. You're going to have to use dry chilies. We made these ourselves, they're quite easy to do. All you have to do is put them in an the oven in a really low heat and cook them, well, dry them out. They take about three or four hours. We've got half a teaspoon of cloves, half a teaspoon of cardamom, teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorns grinded up, teaspoon of fennel, two teaspoons of garlic powder. We've got salt and MSG to taste. Now we won't be adding that until later on in the broth. A piece of Chinese cinnamon bark or cassis bark. Again, the light soy here is for taste later on. We have 14 grams of star anise, one crushed garlic bowl, 35 grams of sliced ginger. We have about a kilo's worth of brazen steak here and I've cut it into massive chunks. You really want this big and chunky and delicious. But two of these are tube shallots. You can use the smaller ones if you want, but you'll just need a sort of like double the amount. So you need eight altogether. A couple of sprigs of spring onions, one celery stalk, the same amount of carrots. We've got about six dried Chinese mushrooms or dongle as we call them. I've rehydrated this. You want to keep that liquor because we're going to use that as part of this broth. We're also going to cut these down into small strips. Half of it's going to go into the broth and half will use for garnishing later. You're going to need about five tablespoons of this Yo's hot bean sauce. The noodles we're going to use today are these Lucky Boat ones. These are really high quality. I mean, to get the same amount of quality, you have to pay twice the amount. These are brilliant. Absolutely can't recommend them enough. Like always, most of these ingredients, in fact, I think all of these dry ingredients, let me see. Yeah, all of these dry ingredients you can actually buy on our online store, chinandchew.com. So if you like to support the channel, by all means, go there. You've got a couple chilies for garnishing. It's likewise with this Chinese chive. In a lot of videos you see noodles with these greens on the top and they look like spring onions but they're actually Chinese chives. Any good Chinese supermarket will sell these. I should have left them in the fridge but I left them on the side so they've wilted a bit but they're fine for garnishing. And cucumber, just some cucumber. And now it's time to show you how to put this together. And as always I forgot you're going to need a touch of vegetable oil just to fry off some of the ingredients and you're also going to need about two litres of water and extra water because you might have to top this up because this is very slow cooking and you don't want that broth to reduce down too much. So so first of all, we're going to dry toast our spices. So that's the star anise, the fennel, the cloves and the cardamom, the cassis bark and your Sichuan peppercorns. You want to do this on a medium to low heat. You don't want it to burn though. When you really start to smell the, the spices in the air, that's when it's ready. Okay, so it's been about two, three minutes now. I'm going to take this off the heat. It's always better than be slightly underdone than overdone, but they're perfect as they are right now. Now we're going to place a large pot in the pan and we're going to just brown this off on a high heat, obviously. You want it to be nice and hot when the beef goes in. So there's about four tablespoons of oil in there. Yeah, definitely. I'm just going to brown this. So as your beef is seared off nicely, turn the temperature down a bit and add your spices. So this is now down to medium temperature. So when this helps um, release some of those essential oils in there, those lovely, lovely spices. Well, you can smell it, it's brilliant. Pour out for about a minute and add water. So I'm adding about total. Now this will cook up a lot. I'd say about four to five portions, but this will freeze quite nicely if you want to. So then in go your mushrooms with the liquor. Remember half of them have been kept aside. So that's just the, mush the water mushrooms were rehydrated in and the mushrooms as well. The ginger, garlic, spring onions, your carrots and celery, your shallots, your dried chilies. One, two, three, four, five of these. Yo's hot bean paste. Remember, you can buy this on our web store. And your garlic powder. 
Oh God, it smells good. Remember these ingredients here will be added after cooking. So like the last 20 minutes of cooking this, that's when we'll add this. So yeah, bring it to the boil and then we're gonna turn it down to a, um, a low heat and cook it for about an hour and a half to three hours until the sauce has reduced down loads and the beef has gone tender. So that was just to the boil and I'm bringing it down now and I'm hopefully the steam's cleared away from the lens so you can see that. And I'm gonna put this on a really low heat and I'll stir it every sort of half hour. So halfway through, I'm removing the cassisa spark. You can leave it in if you really, really love that deep cinnamon flavor. I'm not a big fan, so I take it out halfway through so it's not too strong. Okay, so this is now nearly ready. The beet is really tender. So this has been on for about three hours. Um, I'm just gonna give it a taste and then season. It's actually really good at the moment. So I'm just gonna put in probably half a teaspoon of MSG. Again, of salt, and I'm gonna mix this in. And then that's gonna decide how much soy sauce I put in. Light, not dark. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna put in probably about a tablespoon's worth of dark light, sorry. Tablespoon of light, yeah. Yeah, and that's that done. I'm gonna take that off the heat and I'm gonna show you how to cook the noodles and how to put this all together. So we're just gonna bring this water to the boil and then add the noodles to it. We're only gonna do one portion's worth today. Okay, yeah. Again, we're using these Lucky Boat noodles. Very good, very high quality, Ma. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, very good. Yeah, very good, high quality. Yeah. I, I, lo I love it. I think this is the best one. Do you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're not just saying that? No, I'm not just saying <laughs> oh, that. Right, okay. I, it is, I, I have tried quite a few of um, rice noodles. I find this is the best one. Fair warning, this comes in one big block. What you have to do is you have to take it out and then sort of crack it where you want your portion to be. Yeah, it's opening present. So that's about the amount that you want right there. About 70 grams, I reckon. Yeah. More like 50, actually. Yeah, one portion, yeah? Yeah. It's not exactly the, the, the volume, but it's roughly about that, yes. It's just gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt to this, just season the water. And then when this is a proper fierce boil, that's when we're gonna add the noodles. Now the noodles are gonna go in for about two, two minutes. Two minutes, yeah. And then we're gonna drain them in a colander. It doesn't matter if it's just a bit over two minutes, that's fine. Or under because your hot soup will actually cook them a little bit later. And this noodle is really good. It, if you boil over two minutes, don't worry. Because normally with the um, rice vermicelli, chale, sorry, if you overcook it, they start breaking apart. Yeah, some other bran, it become really stodgy. But this bran is top of the top. It's because they use it. high quality rice, that's the yes. difference. And that's two minutes. We're just gonna let them stand there until we're ready to use. Okay, so now we're gonna take these big chunks of beef out and place them into another big pan because we're gonna drain this liquid off. We don't want um, those massive chunks of spices getting into your mouth and chewing on them, that chewing on perfume. Yeah. If you like it, leave it in. It's not my favorite. Each to their own there. Yeah. I mean, I will be leaving a couple of star anise in there, but that's again, that's just for pictures. And whatever you don't use, you can keep in the fridge for about 48 hours or you can freeze it. Obviously you use, lose some flavor, but it's still delicious. Don't want to lose any of that stock. Looking good. Looking really good. You do need quite a fine sieve for this because otherwise you'll get like bits of fennel seed in your teeth and stuff like that. Okay, so we're gonna put this back on the heat and warm it up. If you want a thicker soup, um, you can just add a little bit of cornstarch in there. Personally, this should be a broth, but I mean, that's completely up to you. We're just gonna warm this up. So it doesn't matter if that cools down because this hot soup will be going into that. Yeah, we're just gonna bring this to a boil and then it'll be ready to dish up. We're gonna dish up the soup. So just gonna take a few of these pieces of beef out, place it onto the oh, rice noodles. Yes. Two should be enough, but I mean, if you're a big eater, by all means, add more. Should I put another one on just, again, for the photos. Oh, looking good. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Then we're gonna spoon this some of this soup. You want a good mixture of, that oil on the top is really flavory. So yeah. don't be afraid of that. No. I can taste it now. Can you? Yeah. You don't want too much broth? No. Then we're gonna put Garnish some, it some cucumber this side. Cucumber. Some of these Chinese chives. You can use spring onions like I said before, but these really are, they're bring called up, garlic chives as well. Yeah, bring out the flavor. Lots of flavor. And then fresh chilies. If you don't like heat, you can do this with less of the actual sauce in terms of the doban jam sauce. We want to. And also not use the dried chilies. Get the garnish away? Yeah. And I'll just show you guys what this looks like. Go. Cool. Yep. Yep. So we're sitting down trying this today because of the soup. And the noodles, I'm gonna go straight for the beef. 
Look at that. It's really tender. Ooh, look at this noodle. Good quality. Yeah. Wow. Springy. Mmm. Mmm. You can taste the flavor in the noodle as well. And the cucumber cut it in. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's also up as cooling. Yeah, I'm gonna try the beef in a minute. Seems really good. Yes. Full of flavor. Yeah. All sorts of uh, spice you can taste in there. Citrusy. There's a hint of uh, chili hot, but not hot, hot, hot that burn in your mouth. I don't know. If you don't like chili, this is going to be too hot for you. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, this beef mm, is good. Beautiful. Mm. I'll be honest. If you're going to make anything that we've ever made, this is probably the best, one of the best things. For some people who doesn't like it, right, soupy uh, noodle. You can just thicken it with some corn syrup. Potato stir. Potato stir. Slurry. Yeah, slurry. Yeah. And you can use, put it on rice as well if you like. Or noodle, egg noodle, or whatever noodle you prefer. Bad quality, and the reason why I don't really like when I go out, I won't order uh, mifen as we call it, but you call it rice vermicelli. I won't order it because they use cheap ones, and the cheap ones taste like the smell of bad breath to me because they've got too much tapioca in there. Yeah, the mix. they can be, yeah. Good ones like this are just taste like rice. And or or mm. some of them break it so small. Check it out on our website, chinenchu.com. Go and get a few of this one to stop cutting the house. And you can have it whenever you want it. That's my tea, okay? Yeah. There we go, spicy Sichuan slow cooked beef broth with vermicelli and rice noodles. An absolute winner. And if you want to try some traditional Chinese food and you like chili. This is your, a, a good starting point because it's a, a nice, almost, I wouldn't say a direct mix of what you'll be used to, because it's not. If you mm. taste this, it wouldn't taste anything like you've had in a takeaway, but it's the closest to sort of like the Western palate, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget to try it out and press the like button. Comments, comments, comments. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching. Happy cooking, happy eating. Cheers, guys.